So task three, we're asked to create a situation where a piston rod of cylinder is to be advanced when a push button is pressed and retract when a limit switch is activated. A relay with a latching function is used in order to maintain the signal. So this is the first circuit we'll be looking at where there's a latch. So let's get uh, down here and have a look at it. So this is the circuit that we're trying to build. So if I bring up circuit here, so in a standard situation, we're just uh, we're doing double acting cylinder with two one way flow controls and a five two way setup. So quite similar to the last ones we did. So I'll build a pneumatic first. Get to label. And make sure there's no overlapping connections. We can also put in the limit switch here, which we're going to call S2. And it should be at the end of the extension of the cylinder. So that's why we put 100, 100 in there. And that's under actuating labels, and we put S2 100 100 because it's a, we want the limit switch to be at the full extension of the double acting cylinder. So if we go to electrical components, drop in our rails, four and zero. We need a relay. We need two solenoids. We need a push button. We need two make switches. Like so. That's what we have so far. OK, so let's connect those up. We have Y1 here. Y2. K1, the other part of K1, and our two switches, which is S1 and S2. So it's going to be our limit switch. So when we run this circuit now, we can see that when I press S1, I'm going to turn down the extension speed. Show this. So when I press S1, we can see that it extends. OK, so again, I'll try that once more. I just, it's a push button switch, so all I have to do is hit it once. The cylinder will extend all the way until it hits S2. Now, what you can see here, if I slow it down even more, you can see that what's happening is there's a signal traveling down through S1, hitting K1, which closes K1 here, which is forming the latch part of this, meaning that as electricity hits K1, it also will close the other side of K1, meaning that it will travel around this aspect of the circuit here. This is called the latch. It's now bypassing this part, so the switch doesn't need to be on constantly. So even though I release the push button switch, the cylinder still continues to ex uh, extend because of this latch situation here, because there's still electricity going through the K1 relay, getting to Y1, which is keeping it in position to extend the cylinder. When the cylinder gets to the limit switch, which is S2, it hits S2, closing this connection or closing this switch here, and then allowing electricity to flow through S2 back to hit Y2, which sends the double acting cylinder back in the opposite direction. So we have extension, hits S2, we have retraction. So that's that circuit there.